<laughs> Look at this, guys. What is this? I don't know what it is. YouTube. Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to our, our channel. channel. It's Carlisa. You already know it's your boy Sam. If you are new to our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up on this video and check out all of our other videos and join the family. Today we're trying Haitian, Haitian food. food. We haven't done a food review in a minute, so we had yes. to bring it back. Y'all know y'all love us trying all these new foods. We love trying all these new foods. I'm yeah, excited I'm for this one. starving like always. Like so. always. We said that like all of our videos, we always be starving. Mm -hmm. So we got the chicken. We got the beans and rice. No, I think this is just beans. the beans. We got, we're not going to show you this yet, but we got a, a couple, goodies, a couple in goodies in here. A lot of goodies in here. A lot of goodies in there. We got some rice. Their rice. That shit. Mm, <laughs> good. And got their the mac, mac and cheese. cheese. So yeah, so we're going to uh, just switch it up a little bit. We're actually going to plate everything on our plates, how we did in one of our other videos. Um, we just thought that that was a little bit more. Uh, oh, this looks better on the plate. Yeah, we just we just nice. like how it looks on the plate, so we're just gonna do it like that this time. Well, enough talking. Let's dive into this video. Let's go. We did get two drinks. Um, mm. The little bit of water down because they did have some ice in there, and it took a minute for us to get back home. A minute. Um. So we do have a lime, a fresh lime juice. And then this one is going to be passion fruit. They both look amazing. So they're both natural. Wait, before we dig in this food, let's try these drinks. Carly went in and got the food this time, so she's gonna be <laughs> saying majority of the names of the foods and stuff. Mmm, that's super good. Mmm. Mm. That doesn't it doesn't taste like super strong as like limes usually taste. Mm -hmm. They don't taste really strong. Um this it's is... kind of sweet, it's definitely sweet, it's really good. Mm. What's my call again? A passion fruit. Let me it's see. definitely a passion fruit. That is oh definitely God. on point. It tastes just like passion fruit with a little bit of pineapple. How do you know a passion fruit? That, that, that just has that pine, passion fruit flavor. Mm. Ooh, that's, that's good. Ooh, you always that's get the better good. drinks, yo. Ooh. No, they're both good. My nose is mm. good. Mm. Let me tell y'all one thing. With These juices is good. Our family with juice, we love juice. We love juice more than he pop. He likes juice. We love more juice than water. No, but we're. I'm actually starting to get into more of the natural juices. We went to like a Cuban restaurant the other day, and we got their natural juices. Oh, Those were oh. amazing. Those oh were so gosh. good. And these now from the Haitian restaurant, these are amazing. These are, these really, are good. really good. These are definitely a 10 drink. Ten, 10 out of 10. I don't know if they're you know naturally made or just homemade. but I think they were naturally made. These are good. Ooh, okay, so this good. one is actually going to be called, what he's grabbing right now, is going to be called just a stewed chicken. And um, Look at it comes with rice and two sides. So that's just a stewed chicken. I don't know if I can see. Yeah, I, I think this is the lunch portion though, because we got there early. It looks, so. It's still a lot. Yeah, no, it definitely looks. Mm. I think this is the lunch portion though. Um, so that's the stewed chicken. It looks oh. like there's like peppers and onions. That smells. And stuff like that. Mm. Oh, there's like guys. three little drumsticks in there. So what is it like a stew with the with stew chicken? Stew with Haitian stew chicken. Mm. You just said it's the stew with chicken. I, you know how we make our chicken? It just be leftover juices and they just throw. I don't know. It look like extra juice was in there, but I guess the stew is with the chicken. Mm. So this is going to be gratin macaroni oven baked mac and cheese. So I think it's like a au gratin or something like that with the potatoes. It's like it's kind of like similar. Nah, that I did this not know that was mac and cheese. cheese. That so, is what is the noodles? So made? this is these are regular Tony noodles. Look at that, guys. So if y'all can see, it's still steaming. That's, okay. Yes, I see it. That looks still crazy. Still steaming hot. This looks like it has like red peppers and stuff in it. Mmm. It smells kind of spicy, so mm. definitely get I that. I get your chicken. You wanna grab your piece? And get the mac and cheese. And then the white rice. This is just like regular white rice, Ooh, guys. but just like their type, their way. Not even gonna cap on this food review, guys. This Everything look good. looks good. This is their rice. Mm. It's still steaming, as y'all can see. Oh, that's still, still. hot too. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, and then y'all wait till we get to what's in the bag. Yeah, this is Ooh, juicy. juicy. I love one. when the chicken is juicy. Mm. I didn't even think about doing that. Ooh. Alright. Put a little bit of juice on mine. Gotta right. ju juice mine up. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Stop. Yeah. 
Mmm. Oh my, I never smelled black beans see, like that. See. That's something different. Bro, this is tell how, me that don't smell like cinnamon. I don't know what that is. That smells is. like cinnamon. I don't know. It really does. Yeah, it does. I'm gonna put the beans on here. Mm, that rice smells right, so you know. good too, guys. Ginger, that's what it is. That, yeah, it was Cause they had, they had a ginger juice too, but I didn't know if I should get that, so. That's definitely, That's ginger. Yes. They yeah, cook with they cook with ginger. You can, thank you, baby. Yes, not too much though, not too much. Oh, 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 oh. I can't wait to dig okay. in. Let's show them what's in this bag. Look at this, guys. That's the um, pate coda. Like what it's is like their pat their chicken. It's chicken and herring patty. So there's chicken. That's what is herring? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know. It says yeah, pate coda. Chicken slash smoked herring patties. That's a big patty. That's a, a big old like empanada. Did you want me ripping a half for us or? Yeah, okay. just do half, half. And then. Oh my god. That is big. It looks like onions, some, uh, pulled chicken. Ooh, that looks good. I don't know good. what's in there. Really don't know what's in there. Let us know if y'all like this, like putting everything. I was just about to say, just yeah, to too. see how it is. Cause I don't know. I feel like it's just more like. So you guys can more see more of a vibe, yeah. you know. Like you guys are here eating more with us. More of a vibe. These are going to be like sweet potato wedges. Those look crazy. So you can eat this one. I seen a little bit of green in these inside. These are sweet potato wedges. Yeah, I know how I am with sweet potatoes, guys. We'll try you that. don't even eat sweet potatoes. What is so yeah, those, that's what those are called, sweet potato wedges. These are called um, marin marinade. I'm so marinade. it's called a fried fritter. And I marinade. asked him if there was any like, if, I thought there was like a like a bacalaoito, like those are going to be like a codfish fritter and like a Puerto Rican cuisine. So that's why I kind of thought it was, but it's not. It's actually, um, he said there was no meat in here, so I don't know what's in here actually. I didn't ask him all of that, but yes, yeah, so these are the fritters and marinades. Look they look like garlic balls, toasted. I don't know if it's garlic though. Oh, definitely not. It does kind of smell like garlic a little bit. I don't know. Put okay, that over so, there. Yeah, we got these. What are those? Um, <laughs> we got these. Those look I like jalapenos fried. No, here, grab one. So this is actually going to be, I think it's called okra. Yeah, it's called okra. Fried seasoned malanga or what something like that? that. I don't know. I have no idea. I really don't it know. It looks good though. It looks good. It don't smell bad. It kind of reminds me of like acapulia or something. Mm, yeah, a little bit. These are, y'all know these. These are going to be the plantain. Bro, everyone's like, those are really thick. This is just like a lot of like the Caribbean uh, cuisines have the plantains. So they do. These, I mean, you get the big one. I mean, it was a big Why one. Why do you even this huge one? But I wish, I, one thing, because I um, I did ask if there was some sauces. Um, he just said that there was like sauce for like, the chicken and stuff like that. But I would, I always, you know how we are. I would love dipping I sauce love, for I love like a dipping sauce for the plantain. Yes. At least the plantain, like I love the dipping sauce. But I mean, it's cool. Bro, it's just really crazy how much different cultures make their stuff. This is this is like some good type of mac and cheese. This is really different. Like it's like it's spaghetti, but it's it's mac and cheese. It's rigatoni noodles. Like, but the taste is on point. Super soft. Yeah, it's Super. like soft, soft and chewy, but not like bad. It's not bad. Mmm. It's not like a super creamy mac and cheese. It's like a cheesy mac and cheese. Mm -hmm, but definitely like, cheesy. I don't know how to explain it. It's not creamy at all. There's onions I can taste. Mm -hmm. Red peppers. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what else. No, that's some good mac and cheese though. It's different. Onions, red peppers, and the cheese with the rigatoni noodles. Is your soft mean, too? Mm -hmm. It's just, <laughs> it's the same bag. It's, it's different. Yeah, I've yeah. never had mac and cheese like that in my life. Never. That was definitely good. Let's try Let's this try rice. This empanada. The empanada or the rice? Yes. The chicken? Let's go. I would like a sauce for this too. Or dip, yes, dip it sauce. Oh, maybe Ooh. I should dip it in the beans. No, you know what would be good? The bean sauce. Babe, sour, sauce. sour cream 
or the Tostone uh, sauce, yeah. mayos and ketchup. Mm. Smell it. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. All right, I'm gonna dip it in here. Mmm. This is good. It's really spicy. spicy. I, was, <laughs> I, I was gonna say it is spicy. This shit mm. got, it got my throat burning. For real. Nah, it's it's not like a bad spicy though. It's definitely spicy. Mmm. The dough is definitely homemade. Mm -hmm. The chicken blends in well with the uh, dough. The dough is like really, really dry, but it tastes good. It's not dry. No, it's, it's like kind of, well, I had, this is it's with, crispy. Uh, yeah, it's like crispy, but this piece, they don't have no chicken to it. Oh. But everything flows together and it's just so good with the spice. No, this is good. I should mm. taste it with this. The bean sauce. Looks like there's onions, there's shredded chicken, there's a little bit of beans. Mm, try it with this. Good? Mm-hmm. Mm. That's good with that. Mmm. That's good. This Guys, is this really, is good, I never man. tasted something like this before. This is a patty for real. Mm, this is this really is good. This is some good stuff. Like I said, I don't know what's in here. I don't it. know what's in here. I know but it's onions. The onions, beans, red peppers. Where's the bean? Right here. A, be a little bit of that's beans. That's not a bean. Well, what is that? I swear that's a bean. It has to be a bean. A piece of a bean. That's a bean. No, it's not. That's that's not a chocolate chip. <laughs> like that's a no, bean. No, I can't from a chicken. You know how the chicken be having those pieces. Uh, but anyways, not a bean. this is smack, guys. My gosh. Mmm. I don't want to spend too much time on this, but this is really juicy. Um, it's only four dollars for that big old thing, so that's definitely worth it. That's like a meal right there. Um. It's juicy, just flavorful, mm. it's spicy, it's definitely, I don't know. Bro. It's really good. All the tastes that they put in there, it just blends so well. What is this? I don't know what it is. I have no idea. It's my longer, let's look it up. Bro, it's like an overstuffed french fry. Hang on. I'm serious, it don't taste like nothing. Malanga. Right here, this isn't. Oh no, that's not it. Actually, what? I said the wrong thing. It's okra fried seasoned ground malanga. In English, it's called the taro. Like taro root. It's kind of similar to yuca. Yuca root. We had yuca, remember? Yeah, so this is it's like a similar. fried plant. It's a root vegetable known as taro palo. Mmm. Yeah, I never tasted this before. This is how it looks, y'all. Guys. This is how it looks. It looks just like a yuca. It's malanga cocoa. It looks like a potato. Look. This is how it looks. It looks like a potato, y'all. Oh. To me, this tastes like a french fry stuffed with mashed potatoes. This is, this is good, yo. This also would be good with uh, the tostone sauce. Mm -hmm. Mayonnaise and ketchup mixed together. Mm. No, I think the green sauce. That was good, babe. If I can have that again, well, like, fresh, well done right at the fire, super crunchy, that's good. But the texture now, I'm it's good, babe. It's a little chewy. It's a, it's a little bit of chewy. Um, it's definitely crunchy. We're just late to the food a little bit. But it definitely has a good texture. And guys, it tastes like mashed potatoes inside a fried french fry. I'm serious. I don't know how to explain the taste. I like it. I would say like a, a mashed potato. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to explain the texture of it. It's really good though. I feel like it's... um. A savory taste. It's what it, it's a savory here. taste. I feel like it's definitely a savory taste. Um, if you like mm. like loaded mashed potatoes or something with like a bunch of different seasons in it, I feel like that was definitely you was you would like it. It's like fried mashed potatoes. Literally. With like the filling in, inside. Seasoning. Like, I don't like know if it's like said. cheese in there or something, but it definitely tastes good. So definitely make sure I go get mm. what is it called? The marinade. A marinade. Yeah, I forgot what you marinade. said. Marinade. AKA fried French fry with mashed potatoes inside. Okay. All right, let's try the rice. Yeah, so yes, let's please, try the rice. let's try this rice. And it's still hot. 
Mmm. That is good. You know I mean? Okay, we're about to start having a mess with the Haitian food, y'all. Haitian food. The rice is A1, man. The rice is good. The beans just top it off, make it better. The beans have like, the beans are definitely seasoned very differently. Very Like, well. I cook black beans all the time with my white rice and stuff like that. Those, babe? And I never had no black beans like this. And the sauce that comes with the beans. It's like ginger. Look, I'm eating with my fork the whole time. I have a spoon. It's like ginger and I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I'm so sorry. I can't even taste that ginger taste though. Like I taste it a little bit. No, it's not a strong ginger yeah, taste. Yeah, like, it's not it's strong. Just, it's definitely like a little, a little like. It's not even pinch of it. Yeah, it's not even crazy. Mm. But the texture, but everything, you can just tell everything was just homemade. This is the marinade. I'm sorry, y'all. This is the marinade. Um, this is going to be the fried fritter. I'm going to have to search up what's in here because I honestly really don't even know. What is this? No, it's like cilantro or something. Hang on. I'm looking. <sighs> Onions, garlic, epis. What is that? That might be the epis. It's green stuff. It's like a. This is he said yeah he said it's dough that's when you. I'm about to say it's it. like a roll. Dough. Okay. Oh, Epis is a Haitian marinade. Okay. I don't know. He it's said so, it was a roll, I, like a, a dough, dough ball, right? Dough ball, yeah. Mmm. Yep. Yeah. Before you have this, you definitely need a dip of sauce with this. This this is what dry your mouth out. <laughs> Um, it's not that dry. I mean, maybe your piece, not mine. But mine is dry. I don't know what your, how yours is different, but mine is dry. Mine is dry. But now this would be good dipped in with mashed potatoes. Definitely any dipping sauce of your choice. And maybe if you put a little bit of rice on here, it tastes good. Let me try some of that. No, rice. Yeah. Oh my. I don't know what you be thinking. Well, the sauce. Good. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to explain this taste either. So I guess it's just chopped uh, scallops, or like onions or whatever, um, garlic and epis, a type of Haitian marinade seasoning. I would definitely prefer a sauce with this one too. Definitely. Like a crema sauce or something like that. That would be really good. Mm. All right, so this one. I'm scared on this one. This looks like a this fried This is just a sweet, a sweet potato wedge, okay? So that's literally, there's no. That's you know how thing. I am with these sweet potato things, yo. Why? You never even really ate sweet potatoes. This yeah, exactly. It just tastes like sweet potato. Like, well, it's it, this is like a different sweet potato. I've never seen this color. Sweet yeah, I, I thought you were gonna bite into it. It was gonna be the different color. I've seen green in mine, but it's not green. It's like I don't look know. right here. It looks green inside right here. I don't know what type of sweet potato this is. But no, this is this is a different sweet potato. Yeah. How did they cook it? Did they fry it? Look That's at the how shell. It is. It's like a little bit. Um, it's like a little bit. Crispy, maybe like baked it. I think they baked them. You definitely need something with it because it's a little bit on the dry side. But yeah, but it's, it's like it's like if you eat like a baked potato by itself, like it's like dry. That's how the texture inside it is like yeah, a, it's sweet like a, it's like a sweet potato. <laughs> it is. A I sweet mean, potato. like a potato. You know what I mean, guy. We man, like a, a baked sweet potato. Like yeah. how the inside is. That's how and it you is. Crack it open and then you eat. But it's kind of just like inside. a wedge. It's of like the whole potato. It's just like a cut off piece of a, a sweet potato that's like baked mm -hmm. in the wedge. It's it? good. If I was here to order again, I wouldn't get those, but they're good. Yes, sir. Oh. Yeah, it's definitely good. Mm. Finger looking good. Mm. Mm. It almost tastes like the same chicken that's in this. I guarantee it is. Just no, a little less not. spice. You don't taste it? That's different chicken, for sure. It is, it is. I swear though, it's still. If you would, if if you added the spice that was in here to here, it would taste like the same. No, it's not. But no, this is good. This is definitely some juicy chicken. Nah, it is definitely. My juicy. gosh. Um, definitely juicy. Um, I don't know. I've been seeing like a lot of different places that we've been trying different foods. They tend to use the drumsticks, like the drumsticks of the chicken. Mm -hmm. 
I allowed them to use like the chicken breast or anything like the that. The last one we had, it was a, a presto, I believe. Which one? Was it a breast? The Columbia? No, they had the same thing. Uh, the stick. Definitely tastes like it was marinated in there for a long time though, too. Yeah, definitely. Mm, this, this is, is just this is just a stew oh. chicken. It doesn't say specifically what type of stew it is. Um, it just has the chicken with the onions and the red peppers. I'm not too much of a fan of red peppers, um, so I might just taste one or two of them, but I'm not really a fan of it. But it's definitely good. Really, really, really Guys, good. Guys, the, the chicken soft as hell. It just slides right off. You have no hassle tearing it apart. This is this is good. I don't know what's the flavor though. Like what's the what does it taste like? Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know what y'all season y'all food with, but if y'all hate him, whoever watching this, it's make sure you drop good. a comment below. I don't even. We can't even. No, I really can't even figure explain. Out the flavor. Yeah, I really can't tell you the flavor. It tastes. I I really don't know. Like I have like four it's pieces really in my good. mouth, I can't tell. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. It I just tastes know. like juicy, well-seasoned chicken. Last but not least on a plate, we almost forgot about it. Yeah, we and almost did, to be honest. Is this sucker right the here. The plantain. I need a sauce. Yes. Mm. See, the things with these, but you have to have them when they come out. Right. You have to. Fresh out. Because That's then they just thing. taste like hard, it's stale not, it's bread. It's not hard. It's not hard. It's just the inside is like very dry. Yeah, I'm not even, I can't. I would have to re-fry it. Yes, re-fry re to re-break these. You have to have those fresh out. Yeah. We brought you guys another food review. This time it was Haitian. And yes. oh my gosh, I love you guys. Your food is amazing. Yes. Definitely coming back for you guys. Definitely. Oh. The food was just A1. Really good. Appreciate you guys watching. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll be dropping more bangers for the rest of this week. Thursday and Saturday. Don't forget. Mm -hmm. We'll see you in the next video.